Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. My name is Tori Solis and today I'm going to be sculpting an American Robin. That is Turtus Migratorius for all my science minded folks out there. I'm making this sculpture from a white stoneware ceramic. The finish is going to be done with Mako stroke and coat glazes, fire to cone 6 electric oxidation. Now that we have all the technical specs out of the way, let's talk about Robins. I love Robins. They are the definition of the early bird. They are one of the first species to get busy at the end of winter, and they are the first birds I hear in the morning. You can literally see them in the yard every morning searching for those early bird worms that everyone is always talking about. I'm also an early bird, so we have that in common. The American Robin is native to North America. They are partially migratory. Most of the birds from more northern regions will fly south for the winter. In some places, there are year-round populations of robins that don't migrate. Many robins rely heavily on our lawns for their foraging, making them a familiar sight in cities and towns. This year, a pair of robins has claimed my front yard as their own. They sit on the roof of our house and swoop down over the yard to chase off any interlopers. When we are outside, they watch us warily. Although they seem to really appreciate when we cut the yard as it stirs up a lot of tasty treats for them, we cut our lawn with a manual push mower. Like, it's not gas or electric, it's old school hand pushing spinning blades. In any event, it's really great for the yard and the birds love it. We also don't keep an American lawn, as in we don't grow a monoculture of grass. We hand pull any plants that sting, have burrs, or are toxic to a point of being a hazard to our community. Outside of that, we let what grow grows. We never use toxic chemicals in our yard because they pose a serious threat to foraging birds like the robin and everything, like the insects, the pollinators, if you care about any of the living things in your yard other than just the grass, you shouldn't use toxic chemicals in your yard. Hot take. Where I live, robins are common. They're so commonplace that they're often overlooked. I often find myself pulled toward what is common and overlooked. In my own practice of mindfulness and presence, I try to hold the overlooked as sacred. I try to look deeply at what is ordinary and take in all that makes it special. The robins herald spring, they work hard all summer, they bounce around and stay busy. Their lives are busy and they're focused on their tasks. In that, we are much like them. I don't want to be desensitized to the beauty around me. In my life and my artistic practice, I try to make an active effort to fully see the beauty in the world around me. I want to really see the birds, the trees, and the flowers. I want to feel their textures and see their movements and their shapes and their colors and experience it all deeply. Not just to see them in a quick Passover, but to see things at the light of appreciation and consideration. I find most of my inspiration in these moments of reflection and contemplation. I'd like to encourage everyone to slow down and look deeply around your world. What's seemingly inconsequential for me, such as a robin, may be an exotic treat for someone outside of North America. I am to look with fresh and open eyes, to see everything is new, because everything is new. Every day is new and filled with new opportunities. Even the cycles and rhythms of the world, every experience is different than the one before. When we do too much generalizing and categorizing, we lose the subtle nuances that make life magical. Our brains like to categorize things and dismiss them quickly to help us process a lot of information. It groups similar experiences and predicts likely outcomes. But when we can take a step back and give our attention to something, even something mundane, you can experience everything that is new and different about that experience. This is what the American Robin means to me and why I decided to sculpt one. It's a reminder to appreciate and stay present in the world and open to seeing and feeling the experiences in my life fully. The past is gone, the future is imagined. All we have really is this moment right now and it passes as soon as it's here. Everything is in a state of flux and change. Like the robin, I'm here and I stay busy. But while I'm pushing my energy and effort out into the universe, I pull myself back into the sacredness of the process and into the magic of this moment. It's my sincere wish that I can inspire you to find some time to see the profundity in all things as well. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. If you'd like to help support my channel and gain early access to all my videos, consider becoming a supporter of my work at patreon.com slash bluenosetrading. If you'd like to see a weekly art video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. I post a new video every Friday at 5.30pm Central Time and daily short videos. 
I appreciate you spending time with me today. I hope you can make some time this week to look deeply at the world around you. Remember that you're important, drink plenty of water, and I will see you next week.